Hi, this is Dr. Nick and I'm The Incrementalist. I'm focusing on better health outcomes using technology and innovation. Today I want to talk about a paper that was published in the Journal of the American Medical Association, Internal Medicine Edition. And it was actually a, a meta-analysis review comparing uh, mindful techniques um, and opioid consumption, specifically looking at uh, pain relief. And what's really intriguing about this was that it took all of these studies, so they went out, looked at uh, the research um, published work and gathered all of the papers that they could find that referenced uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, hypnosis, guided imagery, um, uh, uh, all these um, techniques that we uh, have attempted to use to essentially influence or relieve pain. Um, overall, they found about 60 studies, that's a lot, a uh, total of uh, over 6,000 patients spread across all of those. Um, wide variation in terms of numbers. There was um, somewhere in the order of uh, 15 or so in the smallest up to uh, hundreds in some of the larger ones. So um, small studies, um, less significant data, larger studies, more significant data, typically, but not always the case. But here's what's interesting. What they found was um, certainly an effect. It wasn't a huge effect and it wasn't across all of the modalities of uh, behavioral therapy that uh, we understand or relaxation therapy and it was uh, different for different purposes. So in some instances they used it for procedural pain. So if you're having a, a procedure or some kind of an operation you typically or quite often can get pain as a result of that. So they um, used uh, some of these techniques to treat that. They used it for burn pain, um, other forms of pain. And there was varied um, uh, impacts, but overall it was very clear that there was an effect. Not a huge effect, but certainly a significant effect. And the primary um, mechanisms were meditation, uh, cognitive behavioral therapy, or CBT as it's uh, known uh, or abbreviated to, um, and then clinical hypnosis. So not the sort of regular entertainment hypnosis, but actually clinically guided hypnosis. What's interesting about this is that the downside to this is so low. So the potential positive impact for people is very significant with very minimal uh, side effects or potential side effects. So if we're seeing this small improvement and the way that they measured that varied as well, so um, you could throw some uh, criticism against some of these trials um, unless there was some specific measures that we could find. And one of the measures they used was, did you decrease the uh, overall use of opioids? And they did find that, not a huge amount, but even a small amount in this instance is very significant. And the idea that we can meditate and reduce our uh, sense of pain might not seem so extraordinary when you consider um, the theory of, uh, the gate theory of pain um, and the way that we can distract people um, with alternatives. I interviewed uh, the founder of Buzzy, which is one of the techniques for reducing needle pain and needle fear in uh, young patients. Um, enormously important because it was interesting, based on her research and uh, experience, she was um, of the view that this was a contributory factor to some of the increase or rise in uh, opioid use in our society. So here we have a technique, um, and it's one that I use personally. I meditate every single morning, and I do so for a minimum of 10 minutes. I haven't managed to get past that, but I've been doing this for an extended period of time. It's become part of my routine. So even if you don't have it, that's actually a good thing because we know that it introduces um, a good sort of sense of well-being. It's good for your overall health. But if you have pain, you have any form of chronic pain or issues with pain, you can actually start this meditation. And if I'd had some guidance, it's 
this is not a simple taking of the pill. You really need some help and support. So um, use an app, I've recommended it, and um, uh, you can find that on my website. Uh, I talk about Calm. There are other ones. Calm has been my favorite because it's the one that has the easiest on-ramp uh, with the lowest cost. Uh, that's zero in this case. They don't give you access to everything, but they do give you a reasonable access and don't insist on a credit card. And you do need some kind of guidance um, get into a habit. Find this in, in your uh, individual routine. And if you have pain, I would suggest that thinking about this as a way to reduce um, the need for drugs and uh, medications is a tremendous uh, concept and idea. And there's actually some science supporting it. This is Dr. Nick, I'm The Incrementalist. If you enjoyed this video or you consider sponsoring some of these uh, uh, videos, um, please reach out to me uh, directly. If you liked it or you have some comments, leave them in the uh, section below. Otherwise, uh, this is Dr. Nick, I'm The Incrementalist, uh, looking for uh, better health outcomes using technology.